Konnichiwa, everyone. My name is Szymon Bryła, and I'm the head of studio at One More Level. Konnichiwa, I'm Radosław Ratusznik, game director on Ghost Runner 2. We are very disappointed that we could not join you today at the Tokyo Game Show, but we're back in Krakow putting the finishing touches of Ghost Runner 2. We'd love to talk to you about the some of the new features we've added to the Ghost Runner 2 that fans will get their hands on in a few weeks. We have added a lot of new features that we hope fans will enjoy and give them a challenge. For the first time in the Ghost Runner franchise, we are taking you outside the Dharma Tower. We have also added driving to the game, as Jack now has a motorbike to get to and from quests. We don't want to give you too much away so fans can be surprised, but there is a demo available now for the players to give them their first glimpse into the world of Ghost Runner 2. We can't wait for you to play the game when it launches October 26 on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Steam and the Epic Game Store. Sayonara! Arigato gozaimashita! We need him, Connor. We need him stronger. Faster. Better equipped. More vicious than ever. Need him ready. Good evening. Tokyo Game Show 2023. Now we'll have the 505 Games of Tokyo Game Show 2023 official broadcast. Um, Kosuke Hira Iwa, thank you for having me. So you watch the, the Ghost of Runner uh, 2 a teaser video and the interview. Which is scheduled to release in October this year, the some cyberpark parkour action. So let's find out a little bit more about Ghost Runner 2, the newest entry into the Cyberpunk Park Tour uh, action series, which has sold over two million units worldwide. The Ghost Runner 2 is coming to Steam Epic Games Store, GOX, Xbox Series X and 5, and PlayStation 5 on October 27th. And the pre orders are open as we speak. As a pre order bonus, you will get the traditional katana pack. In including two katana and two hand skins, get them while you can, if you upgrade to Brutal Edition, which includes several swords and hand skins, a motorcycle skin and the season pass, you will be, uh, you will also be able to play the game 48 hours before its release date. Well, then this katana is the motif and the attractiveness. So over on our 505 Games social media channels, this is a very real katana, very authentic. So over on our 505 Games social media channels, we are giving away to katana, a toy katana, as well as a Ninja Samurai experience tickets and original Ghost Runner merchandise. For more details, follow our official account by scanning the QR uh, QR code. One last thing, a demo is uh, playable now on Steam, Epic Game Store, Xbox Series X and S, and a PS5. So please go and experience Ghost Runner 2 for yourself. So what don't I tell you about what we will see today? Um, you know, it's a very uh, difficult to kind of uh, uh, to uh, reach. Uh, using the, the sword, it's uh, uh, quite a challenging and uh, more action oriented. So please check it out. And with this time uh, tonight, we will be looking at the brand new trailers and speaking to developers about upcoming releases from 505 games. So let's take a look. Marvel Puzzle Quest for its 10th anniversary in October. Information on upcoming content for Crime Boss, uh, Rocky City, 
and also information on a huge free update coming to Miasma Chronicles in October. And also a message from the makers of uh, early access a potion making simulation magical mixture mill. Uh, we will invite Marco, creator, a creative director at Ion Lands, and hear about his team's slice of life with cyberpunk simulation game Nivalis, which is slated to uh, release in 2024 on PC. To learn more about it. And in the latter half of the show, we will be looking at the eagerly awaited RPG AU Den Chronicle 100, Hero, uh, 100 Heroes, and we will hear from the team behind it, Rabbit and the Bear Studios with Yoshitaka Murayama, Junko Kawako, Junichi Murakami, and Osamu uh, Komuda joining us here at Tokyo Game Show with some special new information. I'm sure you will agree that's quite the lineup. Make sure you will stick around till the end of, uh, to catch all of it. Let's take Hi, a look at this. I'm Joe Fletcher, producer here at 505 Games. This year is a special one for Marvel Puzzle Quest as we celebrate its 10 year long run and prepare for our upcoming anniversary. When the game first launched in October 2013, we had a roster of over 30 characters with unique abilities that made this Match 3 puzzle adventure a huge hit with players. Since then, we've released a steady cadence of Marvel favorites and are still going strong with a continually growing roster of over 300 superheroes and villains from the Marvel Universe. From smashing your way through foes with your favorite Avengers to electrifying the battlefield with your number one X-Men, Marvel Puzzle Quest has just about every type of character for players to enjoy. This year, we've been hard at work making improvements to the game like rebalancing dozens of characters, bringing back popular boss battles, and making more unique ways to play. In addition to introducing new ways to enjoy Marvel Puzzle Quest, we've got some exciting new features in the works that will change the game entirely. Coming just in time for the 10th anniversary, we're introducing Champions 2.0, allowing you to level your favorite characters to new heights. Be sure to check out all the new features in our upcoming 10th anniversary of Marvel Puzzle Quest in the coming weeks. We've got special celebrations planned with a full lineup of free login gifts, anniversary vaults, and fun events to kick off an action-packed month. We've got lots more coming in the weeks, months, and years to come, so here's to celebrating the 10th anniversary of Marvel Puzzle Quest and the future. Thank you. So let's talk about a little bit about the Marvel Puzzle Quest. So thanks to all our players who has been enjoying free-to-play title Marvel Puzzle Quest. Uh, the, it is going to celebrate the 10th anniversary in October. In honor to that milestone, 505 Games is preparing some content that everyone can enjoy. Make sure to download the game and stay tuned for the future information. And on to the next title. King has uncovered a massive stockpile of gold. Sheriff Norris, who spearheaded the investigation, is set to receive I will look a into it. For his efforts. Baker, what do you want? It's what we both want. The gold. So let's about let's talk about crime boss Rocky City, shall we? Uh, based in a world inspired by the best crime movies of the 1990s, up to four players can play together in Crime Boss Rocky City, available now on Epic Games Store, Xbox Series X and S, and a PlayStation 5. Um, September the 15th, last Friday, the fourth free update went out along with our first expansion pack for the title Dollar Dragon's Gold Cup, which is available now. Not just that, but in the in-game item pack, tactical weapons pack is free for a limited time. Play it for yourself and become the ultimate crime boss. 
Let's uh, take a look at the next one. This isn't the same city you saw last time you visited, kid. Nivalis is changing in front of our eyes. This is a bolder city, a brighter city. More people to meet, more things to do, more electric night. Last time you were here, this was all a dream. Your old pal Thaddeus is retiring. You can have my old life. It doesn't fit me anymore. I'm leaving you a tasty little business venture. A noodle stand. Work hard and maybe one day you'll climb so high, you'll be above the rain. There's more to this city than business. Follow the rules, or break them all. Grow your own paradise in the greenhouses. Sail a boat out and cast your line into the forbidden seas. You might find more than fish. I've heard the rumors. Serial killer? Don't worry too much. I'm sure you're safe. My time is up, kid. Now get out there. The city's waiting. So that was the latest trailer for Cyberpunk Slice of Life Simulation Nivalis, which will come to Steam and Epic Games Store in 2024. Now it's time for an in-studio guest here from Ireland to talk about Nivalis is a creative director, Marco. Thank you for joining us. We also have uh, Liu, marketing manager from 505 Games of Japan, joining us as interpreter. Thank you for having me. So, Marco and Liu, let's get straight to it and talk about this game. Please introduce yourself first. Hi. Yeah, hi, I'm Marco. I'm the creative director at Iron Lands. We are the studio uh, that's uh, making Nivalis. We are known for our voxel art cyberpunk game called Cloudpunk. はい、アイオランズのクリエイティブディレクターのマルコです。私たちはサイバーパンク調のボクセルアートゲームクラウドパンクを制作したグローバル開発会社です。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いいたします。改めてニバリスとはどんな
uh, or in this part of the city uh, are locked in the so-called localized unity zone. That's because a serial killer is running around and they are trying to catch him. Um, so there's a curfew from 2 a.m. To, uh, to 8 a.m. in the morning when everybody has to be home. はい、と、クラウドパンクはこの地域には連続殺人鬼も徘徊しています。なので、毎回あの毎晩深夜2時から朝の8時まで約館外出禁止令が出されたらもう家から出ることはできません。So Marco, after the player has finished their laundry managing the restaurant, what other activities can they engage in with the world of Nivalis? Hmm. So first of all, you can explore the city. It has many different districts. Uh, it has many characters who have all their own story to share with you. You can check out the other restaurants who are managed by other uh, characters in the game. You can decorate your apartment. Or you can go down to the docks, take a boat ride, and do some fishing uh, while b being out in the ocean. You can also have your own greenhouse where you can grow your own food. Uh, maybe you want to turn your greenhouse into your own apartment. It's your choice. あの、街を探索することができます。多くのキャラクターがあなたのストーリーを共にしてくれます。他のレストランやバー、ナイトクラブをチェックすることもできますし、部屋をインタリアで描いたり、あの、港でフォードを乗って釣りに行ったり、自
but it's also a warm, beautiful and homely place. So we are trying to show the world of regular people, not that of super hackers or assassins. Uh, so the secret, I think, in my opinion, is um, to build a place that people would live in. And th that's not just a backdrop for an action sequence. この街so Marco, how will Nivalis tap into the ability to spark wonder and resonate emotionally with your audience? Mm -hmm. So when we shared first little teasers of the game uh, on, on social media, we uh, were very proud to receive the number one response was, uh, yeah, I want to be in this world, I, I just want to live there. So how can, how can you make that happen? Please, I want to be in. That's exactly it. So when you look at our game, we want to cause that emotion. We want to, uh, to feel something just looking at it without knowing much of its story. For us, uh, games are magical places. Uh, we want you to enter the world and spend time looking around, uh, enjoying the atmosphere, taking your time. Hi. えっと、um, so you've mentioned a serial killer before, so I can tell us about more. Uh, so do we need to be worried? You know what? You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Trust me. あの、心配する必要はないらしいです。はい。怖い心配にね、なりますけどね、ちょっとラーメン屋系しながらちょっと連続殺人犯ね。ちょっと怖いですけれども、ま、いろいろね、ちょっと新しいお話も伺うことができ
元気ないのならおいでよ冒険に出よう夢のヒーローになるご機嫌なポーションさマッシュルームとフラワーで力湧いてくるよ調合はお手の物調子悪くなったらごめんさあ恐れないで作り方はハーブを選んだら魔法を取り出して温め冷やしてぐるぐるかき混ぜて効き目が大事さ副作用はないかもボトルに詰めましょうさあお届けしましょう最高の仕上がりボトルもピカピカさ誰だってウェルカムどこからでもどうぞ兵隊さんも誰でも一度寄っておいで遠慮なんてしないでクエストがはかどるよこぼさないよさあということで日本語のミュージカル調の。Look at that! Sounded like a Japanese musical that was the latest trailer for a magical mixture mail. So let's learn a little bit more about it. From Fire of Fire Games' sister indie label Hook, there's a potion seeing simulation is a currently in Steam early access. Magical Mixture Mill is scheduled for official release in 2024. So far, the game has received five updates, adding new areas, materials, quests, characters, workstations, and weather effects. Lots of new content, one after another. To our Japanese early access users, we've heard you. I'm happy to announce the game will release with a full Japanese language implementation. We will keep you posted on the release date. So now,、uh, let's talk about the AUDN Chronicle,、uh, the whose、uh, launch date was finally announced. Today, I am joined by the wonderful guests, so let me introduce them one by one. So in 2020, in Kickstarter game section, the most,、uh, this was the most funded、uh, the project. And uh, uh, the launch date of the 23rd of April next year was、uh, finally announced. And the, the we have the Mr.、Uh, the Yoshitaka Murayama, who is a game designer and the main scenario of the Rabbit and the Bear Studio. So、uh, my,、uh, the physical strength was、uh, taken away from the heat of the day. Hello. I'm happy to be here. So the next up is the, uh, the uh, Miss uh, the Junko Kawano, who is a character design not only for the AUDN Chronicle 100 Heroes, but also AUDN Chronicle Ryzen. They're happy to be here. The next up is the AUDN Chronicles,、uh, the producer and director, the Junichi Murakami. So I'm、uh, keeping you、uh, waiting for the game.、Uh, happy to be here. And the next up is the director of the AU Den Chronicles, the Osamu Komta.、Uh, I brought the, a lot of the new、uh, information. So, with those wonderful guests,、uh, we are going to talk about the latest information about the game. The last year,、uh, Five or Five、uh, Games TG TGS broadcast,、uh, we、uh, updated you with the status of the development. And now, finally, it was announced that the release date is going to be April 23rd of 2024. The year by year,、uh, the, you look more tired, but I, uh, uh, I assume that it was、uh, because of the heat. So, the now release date was、uh, decided. Yeah, a long time has passed, but、uh, finally and,、uh, we have secured the,、uh, the satisfactory quality of the game so that we could decide the release date the other day. So now、uh, you are going to talk about the stories and the characters, and, and I heard that、uh, we can see the, the gameplay footage. So, Murayama san, So, I heard that、uh, you have、uh, prepared the latest trailer. Yes, today、uh, we brought the story trailer of AUDN Chronicle. Let's take a look.
この戦いが正しいものじゃないってこと次に君と会うのは戦場になるかもしれないルーンの遺跡を守るのが我々の責務だ力をお前は何に使う俺は人の世のその未来のために必要なことだそれでも僕は正しくあることを逃げたりも走ったりもしない一人二人とかケチなこと言わずに。国の一つ二つぐらい助けてみなさいよなんだか脳が頑張るなら私も頑張れるって思えるもの我々軍人の最大の願いは働かないで済むことですから帝国を脅かす諸国連合の一角だ小国といえど見過ごすことはできないこのまま降参するそれも悪くない手だとは思いますよ抑えろメリサ命を賭けの代金にするもんじゃない私の居場所をあんな連中に怪我させるもんかお前は無理に変わらなくていいただお前らしくあればそれでいいさ絶対にここを守るみんなのためにも故郷のためにも Well, I have so many questions. So, first of all, the theme song, we just heard the theme song. Yeah,、uh, she's a very fa famous s a r a h O'Rain, a、uh, very powerful song. Yeah,、uh, like we can tell from the song, there is a powerful story behind it. It was a great traitor. So, I'm sure the audience is dying to hear more about the characters and the story from our guests. And let's、uh, get things going、uh, with、uh, AUDN Chronicle 100 Heroes Story Intro. Our story is set on the continent of Aran. Our first hero, Noah, joins the Watch, a security force beholden to the League of Nations, and is sent on a joint mission with a unit from the g a u d i n Empire to search the mysterious room barrels for the even more mysterious room lands inside. It's on this mission that he crosses the path with our next hero, Say Kessling. During their mission, they grow close through working together to overcome various obstacles and eventually find the primal lands that they, went,、uh, they were sent to retrieve. Sadly, this will turn out to be the catalyst for a bigger conflict. Our third hero, Marisa, com、uh, Marisa comes from a tribe known as the Guardians, and with her unique ability to channel the power of these lenses, she too joins the fight. She also has her own reason for doing so. So that's the list of it. But Mayoma san, it seems like the core of the game is an ensemble drama which focuses on war. Would that be fair to say? Uh, yes, from like various positions as the leader of the nation or of a tribe or as a general who leads the army. Or from a character who is a soldier, of course,、uh, and there are also、uh, craftsmen living in a town. So there are many different kinds of characters, and they have different thoughts、uh, based on their different ideas. So that's kind of an, an ensemble drama we are aiming for. Thank you. With that, let's talk about the characters, Koenosan. 
Sure, let's uh, take a look at this. So let's look at the characters. Yes, I'm going to introduce the characters and then please take a look at this. The main heroes of the story are Noa, the the League of Nations and uh, the Watch, uh, say Kessling, a uh, lieutenant of the Guardian Empire, and Marisa, a guardian girl who inherited the skills to use the power of room lenses. These are the main he three heroes. Please go to the next one. And on their journey across war torn Iran, Noah Singh and uh, Marisa will meet over 100 other potential heroes. So obviously, uh, a guard, a mercenary, a beast, and a meal, and even tempered swords women for the East Ridge and uh, Leon. Uh, a few days, uh, uh, Noah's superior in the watch having joined a uh, few days uh, earlier. And Peril, a young noble woman of the League of Nations, and the Murayama's. Sounds a favorite. And Emer, former tutor of the Perrier. And this character is also in, uh, also appeared in Ayudan Chronicle Rising, uh, Melor, and then the Euphorious Sevens, uh, Shark Warrior, and uh, from favorite. And there were also other uh, many character uh, characters, unique characters. Obviously, we cannot show all of you all of them today. Uh, just some of them. So, Murakami-san, uh, there were more than one hundred uh, heroes appearing this time. That's uh, that's a big deal, right, Murakami-san? Yes. <laughs> Well, I thought I saw some illusions uh, during the, the, uh, the development. And not that all the heroes will have a voice. No more than 100 heroes, there are uh, voices for them. Not only that, for a reason, we tried very hard for the recording which is already done. <laughs> so you have more than 100 voice actors, right? Yes, that's a significant volume, um, unimaginable. So I'm so curious about more. And uh, now we are going to play a gameplay video, which is to be uh, made public for the first time. Please enjoy. So in last year's TGS, we also showed this. Um, and at important points of the story, Noah will have a one-on-one -on -one battle with the uh, uh, his rival. It's very dramatic. And this is where Murakami-san was very persistent about in his animation. And there were also uh, voices for those uh, characters. When you select the command, there are reactions, uh, very detailed animations. The effect is also very dynamic and impactful. And we saw in the, the video, uh, we didn't see the command. Uh, yes, so depending on what command the user chooses, the screen will change. And also the locations of the one-on-one -on -one battle will also differ. And it gets more gorgeous later on. It will get better. 2D and 3D, it's like a fusion of a 2D and 3D. Like uh, it was magnificent, the, the scene uh, where he, where they uh, jumped off the bridge. So we've been making this and then we, we try to perfect it. Well, yeah, I was really surprised to see that the background scene is also very beautiful and this one is a theater scene oh that's a sudden change and cinderella cinderella um so because this is a, a theater and actually it's a theater mini game a role of a cinderella 
So to all the characters in the story, and you can actually locate more than uh, allocate the, the characters in this game, which are more than 100, to to play the Cinderella show in a way that you like. So this is a, a, the character of Undead, but you can you can uh, use Noah and other like male characters to play the female characters in the show. And the, sh the mean shark is playing the mean stepsister. So all the characters that can be allocated in the show. So it means that the Cinderella show can have more than 100 versions. So we anyway, uh, we recorded a large number of voices for the characters. It's almost scary. And and we asked the voice actors to play freely. So yeah, I really want to try. I wonder how many patterns I will have. So not only uh, Cinderella, there were also other shows uh, that can be played at the theater. So you can like play this for the for your entire life. Uh, it's endless. You'll not be able to finish it. Well, I can't believe that that's, that's really happening. So that's just one of the mini games. And there are many other kinds of things like this. Well, we we always have this slot for uh, the AUDN Chronicle uh, 100 Heroes. It's it really worth it. Yeah. Well, 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 I think that we have met the expectation of the uh, of the fans. Um, it was worth them waiting. It spends a lot of time for the making of that, right? Yes, we've been like recording all the time. Because just for the Cinderella show, there are more than 100 patterns to that. I think uh, it should be also fun when people post it to SNS that there will be like different combinations. Yes, there are also many combinations that we've n never seen. Oh, really looking forward to that. So, um, there's some announcement, one more announcement. On Saturday, September 23rd, from 4 uh, from 2 p.m. to 2.50 p.m., the Rabbit and the BR team, Murayama-san, Kawano-san, Murakami-san, and uh, Komuta-san will take part in the Happy Net Game Fest in TGS 2023 stage event at the Happy Net Game uh, Tokyo Game Show booth. The event will feature a talk session on the development of the game as well as a uh, present for fans in attendance. Also, as a special guest, Kakuto, uh, Ka uh, Gakuto Kajiwara, who acted the voice of the protagonist, Noah and uh, Kenji Akabane, voice actor of Say will be joining the stage. If you are at the Tokyo Game Show this year, please do come by. Well, that's just about all the time we have. Some final information about Aoden Chronicle 100 Heroes before we go. So, Aoden Chronicle 100 Heroes will release on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Steam. Epic Games Store and Nintendo Switch globally on Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. Pre-orders will be open shortly after this broadcast ends. For more details and announcements, keep an eye on our official social media channels. So to sign us off today, our guest representative, uh, we're getting really excited. And uh, I just want to have some parting words from our our guest. Let's start with Nomta san. So sorry for having kept you waiting uh, for the release. Uh, we are still uh, in the, the process of development. Please stay tuned. And Murakami san, over to you. Well, the date has already been set. We will do our best so that we don't betray your expectation. Thank you. Come on, Sam, please. Well, I'm with everyone. The date has already been set, so we just have to try very hard to, to make it to the deadline. Please wait a little bit more. Thank you. All right, Murayama-san, lastly, please. 
This is an RPG. This RPG genre has many ways to enjoy. It's a huge game genre. And many people can have fun with it. And Aiden Chronicle has content that can meet the expectations of our players. So please look forward to it. Thank you very much. But just looking at the mini game, well, you know, sorry to say this, but it's it's not a surprise that you are going to be late for the release. And I also saw a lot of comments on a Nico Nico video where they say the same. But in addition to that, there were also other elements that just part of it, only a small portion of it. So uh, it's um, we can't wait. But uh, please continue your development and. Uh, Komonosan with the kangaroo character, uh, you went to the zoo, but for this uh, shark character, did you go to the aquarium? Yes, of course I went I went to. And also I went to zoos, I went to see birds and other animals as well. And Murama-san, your firm favorite, your favorite is the shark, right? Yes, I love sharks. And Kuni-san is the voice actor, yes. And I, I also attended the recording. So with those characters, uh, I'm really curious what kind of stories will be uh, created. Yes, and then um, please also look forward to the quality of the shark character. So again, thank you very much for our fabulous in-studio guests. So, and that brings us to the end of our show. You don't want to miss what 505 games have in store. And with that, Tokyo the Game Show 2023, the 505 game TGS 2023 of, uh, official broadcast is a wrap. Thanks so much for sticking until the end.